I've been making videos about Star Wars Theory for a long time. He lied about liking the sequels. I caught him in his lies. He has backtracked on his love for Episode 9. And when I saw 9, I loved it because I was so happy at the fact that they fixed Luke to the best of their ability. But that doesn't justify me to like a movie that was ultimately crap and wasn't made with any sort of um, care or respect or storyline. So eventually I came to and I came around. I take 100% credit for that. Time has passed. I've released some bombshells. I was talking with some of the other knights and I told them, I think I'm going to wrap it up with theory. I feel content. There are other shills to expose. Am I reading this right? Disney Plus has now over 100 million users. What? <laughs> That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Good for them. Disney Plus, 100 million users. That's insane. 100 million users. Good for them. Good for them. Good for them. 100 million, 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 users. million users. That's insane. Before we read this, my views on it are... Um... People can change. But you know, Star Wars Theory keeps giving me material. I have to cover this. This is what I've been saying for over a year now. Star Wars Theory is a Disney shill. Recently, Bob Chapek said Kathleen Kennedy is not going to be fired and will be part of circus film for years to come. Star Wars Theory makes a live stream and talks about this. If you thought he was going to trash Disney like all the other respectable Star Wars channels, he did not. What he did was, I like to call damage control. People can change, okay? So, I'm gonna say that before I tell you how I really feel about it. People can change and there's always going to be a room for improvement no matter what. These executive people, these suits as I call them, they start to take these executive decisions in terms of the story and they deem they know what's best. That's when I have an issue with it and that's when I feel like Star Wars just crashes and burns. I don't care if it's Kathleen Kennedy in charge. I don't care if it's Bob Chapek in charge of Disney or, or, or Bob Iger or... No, 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 no. He said people can change, meaning Kathleen Kennedy. Kathleen Kennedy can change. This is either a very ignorant view or it's Disney shill damage control. I say Disney shill. Theory is aware of the Gina Carano situation. He is aware that Disney is a left-leaning company, but he fails to recognize how much of a problem it is going forward. He says Kathleen Kennedy can change. Sure, maybe people can change in some ways, but let me assure you, leftist nut jobs can't change. Kathleen Kennedy is a leftist nut job. She has built a culture at Circus Film that targets people like Gina Carano and cancels them. The only way that culture is going to possibly change is if you remove Kathleen Kennedy. You fire her. <laughs> Fire. Then Theory downplays the situation again. He says, Well, as long as Kathleen Kennedy doesn't get involved in the creative side, the suits can do what they want. <laughs> to a degree, hypothetically, he's correct. If the suits stay out of it 100% and hire the creative people to produce future Star Wars content, we can see some good shit. But let's dissect this. What part of you, Star Wars Theory, thinks Kathleen Kennedy has done a good job at getting good writers and directors for Star Wars? She brought in J.J. Abrams to write and direct The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens was absolute shit. Going on a tangent here, Theory is backtrack on the rise of Skywalker, but he's still fucking defending The Force Awakens. Theory cried like a little biznatch when Luke returned, but he enjoyed a movie where Luke was written out of it, where Luke allowed Starkiller Base to kill billions of people. Doesn't make any sense. This is another attempt by Theory trying to remain neutral with the fandom. And you know, part of it could just be his overrated knowledge of Star Wars. He's a giant idiot if he doesn't see Luke's character was already ruined in The Force Awakens. So after J.J. Abrams, Kathleen Kennedy brings in Ryan Johnson. That movie was absolute shit. She brings in Colin Trevorrow. 
fires him, brings back J.J. Abrams. The movie was absolute shit. The trilogy never had any plan. She disgraced the brand of Star Wars. That alone should get Kathleen Kennedy fired. The good thing she did... <coughs> She brought in Jon Favreau to be the showrunner of The Mandalorian, and she moved projects to Disney+. Plus. Something like that, you can make an argument, well, maybe they won't fire her now, just stay on the rest of her contract. You can try to make that argument, but fucking up the sequel trilogy, you gotta be fucking fired. So Theory's happy she put Favreau in charge and is just ignoring the sequel trilogy disaster, but Theory's not acknowledging the woke republic. Kathleen Kennedy hired a bunch of leftist nutjobs to write books for the woke republic. This is the sequel trilogy 2.0. She didn't learn anything. Then the quote-unquote suit intervenes with the Mandalorian and fires an innocent actress. She fired her because she does not fit the leftist culture of circus film. Going forward, Kathleen Kennedy has displayed horrible judgment in picking creative talent. She's also responsible for the horrible culture at Circus Film. As long as she's employed as president of Circus Film, she will do the same thing. The sequel trilogy is a giant turd in Star Wars that needs to be flushed. That is not going to happen under Kathleen Kennedy. So again, this is Star Wars Theory defending the sequel trilogy, refusing to call for a retcon, refusing to trash Disney. One of the reasons he doesn't want to burn that bridge, he wants to one day work at Circus Film. That's why he remains a sequel cuck. Lucasfilm is a very... It was like Santa Claus to me as a kid, all right? I wanted to work at ILM, I wanted to work at Lucasfilm, that is why he, along with Bob Chapik, is simping for Kathleen Kennedy. That is exactly what Star Wars Theory is. Then you get all the Theory shills donating money to him on his stream. Each dollar might as well be funneled to the Kathleen Kennedy Foundation. Because Star Wars Theory supports Kathleen Kennedy. He supports Circus Film. He supports Disney. That is because Star Wars Theory is a Disney shill. If I go, oh my god, it's doomed, it's done, it's over, and it actually ends up being over and doomed, then well, we're gonna get that out. We're gonna get that outcome regardless. So, might as well. In this point, I'm gonna be a little bit optimistic and be like, look, let's just hope she puts the right people in charge, like she has. Don't listen to Star Wars theory. Disney is not going to change. It really doesn't matter to Star Wars theory if Star Wars changes or not. He is going to continue to make a lot of money shilling for Disney. The only way Disney will change is if their stock tanks or they think Kathleen Kennedy is holding back their potential stock growth. Disney is going to have to see that being a far left company is not as profitable as being a normal company that doesn't push political narratives. I'm doing my part to make that happen, but I need more knights. Become a knight, subscribe to the channel, join the Knights of Melvin Discord, help plot to take down Disney and all their shills. Dark side of the force is a pathway to many abilities some consider unnatural.